Well, hello, good evening. Michael Carbonaro here. Thanks for watching tonight's episode of The Carbonaro Effect. This is the after effect where I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Thank you for continuing to write those in. Um, here we go. Carl uh, writes in asking, is it more difficult to do a magic trick with an animal, uh, I guess, than a non-animal, like a prop or something? Good question because Animals always get big reactions, you know, so you always have that, but is it more difficult to execute the trick? For sure. You know, I was pretending to be a dog trainer in this episode, and I've, I, I'm a cat guy. I don't really know how to train dogs at all, and I couldn't even get it to go after a ball, let alone run after its own costume. So we had, like, little hidden treats here and there, and uh, I had a, basically, one trick you didn't see is I made a big slab of meat appear inside that doghouse just so it had something to want to go into. Uh, so it was a little side trick you didn't know about. Now you do. It's like an Easter egg. And is that even true? I don't know. Am I lying now? I like animals. Uh, Denise says, was it easier or harder to do magic in the garden area of the nursery? Um, you know, the, that is more difficult when you're outside, for sure. Not only to hide our cameras, but also to execute the magic. Because um, one of the things about the show that, you know, magic aside, that's really difficult is just getting the person to stand in the right spot so that we can shoot them where the cameras are. You know, if I have a person who's standing like this, you're not going to see them. So I'm trying to lead them over to the right area. And outside, that could be a lot more difficult, but it's worth it because I like seeing those locations. That was one of the, the, the cool things to be able to pull off. Plus, I mean, we're not going to do the wireless water trick indoors, are we? We'd get water everywhere and just think how mom would feel. So the water could come out of there, but it's... Well, it's not really coming out of here. It's coming from there. But it's not coming, it's not coming from either here or here. It's coming from, I mean, there's a big tank mm -hmm. that it sends it up wirelessly to the satellite, to the modem, and then this is the receiver. Tony asks, does it help to prank people in a crystal shop? Does it help to prank people, like their well-being? Does it help um, crystal, in a crystal shop? Does it help? I don't understand the question, Tony. Does it help to prank people? Meaning like, maybe you mean, is it like, because it's a crystal shop, does it help that it's a crystal shop to prank the, I get what you mean. I think I get, I'm reading your mind. You're saying, being that we're in a crystal shop, is it easier because people believe in that kind of mystical stuff? Um, I think there might be something to that, you know? Every area has a different spectrum of people that will believe or not believe. Um, but I think places like the crystal shop and a place like uh, earlier when we did the, hol the holistic, one of my favorite places that we shot this season, the holistic pharmacy, you know, people are a little more open-minded to that kind of stuff and also more talkative because those people sometimes, uh, if they're bustling in and out of a supermarket versus someone who's really there to, to engage with you can make for a better all-around take. So yes, to answer your question that I didn't understand, uh, yes, it is easier. And then if you stare at that, do you see yeah, you kind of get that whole just relaxing and, and watching the sun go down. Yeah. So that wraps up the questions for this episode. Thank you guys so much. Glad you enjoyed the ep. Uh, you could write in more questions to hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro on Twitter or write them into the Carbonaro Effect Facebook page, and I will see you next time.